And welcome to the LinkedIn Confident Connector. I'm so glad you're here. This is Jean-Marc, and I'm truly honored that you've decided to take this journey with me and learn how to improve your work life through LinkedIn. So I just really want to reiterate how good of a decision you've made getting into this program. Okay, so real quick, so if you're wanting to get those high-level contacts that'll help connect you to those better opportunities, uh, better jobs, and just a better way of life, then you are in the right place right now. And if you're wanting to do that without having to be spammy or attending networking events and putting yourself in these awkward sort of situations where you lack confidence, then again, you're in that right place. And I'm really glad you're here with me. So welcome. All right. So let's get into it and get started. First thing we're going to talk about is the perfect profile formula, right? Because LinkedIn is really, it's a really simple and powerful tool to use. You just have to know how the formula works. So here we go. The perfect profile formula is really simple. It's going to be PH plus KRD plus KRL plus MI is a perfect profile. Now that probably looks like gibberish to you until I explain it. So let me do that real quick. This PH part right here is just, it just means your professional headshot. KRD is going to be your keyword rich descriptions. Your KRL is going to be your keyword rich lists. And MI is going to be your media inserts. And that's what creates a perfect profile. Now, if you don't know right away what all that stuff means or how to do it, then that's totally all right because I'm going to walk you through that step by step. Okay? So why don't we start with what we're truly trying to master here, which is LinkedIn. All right, so in another tab, I have this profile pulled up. It's just a random search I did. I was actually looking for the CEO of Nestle, but I found this guy instead. Apparently they share the, the same name, Nestle, which is pretty cool. But when I want, when I try to connect with him, you're gonna see that his profile is locked out to me because I'm not a member. Okay, so let's fix that. Let's walk through that whole setup process together. So I'm gonna start here. They're asking for some easy info just my first name, last name here, and just stick an email address here. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, and just do a little password. Now I'm just gonna run this through with you real quick, but it's gonna be pretty self-explanatory. No, I am not a robot. Okay, let's look for the sunglasses. All right, it seems they're just there and there and that should be, oh wait, am I missing one of them? Am I missing some sunglasses here? Gosh, I only see these two. Sunglasses. Maybe I should reload this one. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like a robot now myself. Gosh, where are the pants? Oh, I think they're pants here. <laughs> this, is, this is kind of funny. If I don't get it, then I guess I'm a robot. Good, we passed the test. All right, so now they're asking for our location, zip code info, country info. Am I a student? No. Okay, job title. I'm just gonna say I am internet marketer you know how about marketing manager that is not bad all right just become a marketing manager it was that simple okay 
I'm just going to add my company name, which is Saint 313 Limited, in case you were wondering. Okay, and my industry is going to be, gosh, it should be here. Favorite industry in the world, marketing and advertising. Awesome. So next, what is what am I most interested in? Hmm. Keeping in touch with my contacts. Let's say building my professional network because that's what we're all about. Okay, so I'm going to find the code they have for me in my email and I will be back with you in just a few moments. Okay, check in a little bit. Okay, and now we are back. So what I did is I went ahead and entered that verification code they asked me for, and once I did that, it brought me here, which is a very important point when you're starting off your LinkedIn connections, all right? With, your, with uh, building your connections, what you want to do is go ahead and import all those contacts that LinkedIn is recommending to you. And honestly, it's not terribly important that these contacts are totally in love with you because all they're going to be doing is going into your email records and saying, hey, it seems you had a relationship or a communication at some time with this person who shares an email with one of the profiles we have on here. That's not that big of a deal. And honestly, what you'll find and what research shows is some of the most valuable contacts to you are not people that you're totally in love with or are always waiting to hear from you. It's oftentimes these sort of tepid or kind of weak connections. So it's pretty awesome. Just having people in your network is great. So. These are some people that LinkedIn automatically recommended to me. I just really searched some of these names at random and LinkedIn is, is uh, asking me to connect. I'm not gonna connect with them since, just, since I just ran through this for illustrative purposes, but you get the gist. It's gonna ask you to import all your stuff from whether it be your Gmail profile or your Yahoo profile, your Outlook profile, and it's gonna give you hundreds, right, of different connections you can make. And you're, you're, you're gonna to wanna to do that because these people are gonna help you to build your network as we're gonna see in the future. Okay, so now we're gonna switch gears from setting up our profile real quick to one of the biggest parts of what your profile is gonna need, okay? And that is this thing right here lovely headshot now believe it or not you find a lot of people when they set up their LinkedIn profile they don't think about their professional presence when people decide whether or not to connect with you the first thing they're gonna see other than your name is your image your picture I actually had the other day some guy try to connect with me and his image was a diploma now, I'm totally happy for the guy, and I'm happy that he was able to achieve that in his life, but I do not know who you are if you don't show me your picture, okay? So let's run through a few tips here that I found an entrepreneur about setting up a good professional profile picture. And he, these are just a few things to keep in mind. Now, you're also gonna find in the materials that come with this course, a checklist to walk you through how to set up and how to take a professional picture because this is really important you guys you want to make sure your picture doesn't look like you just took it in the mirror or you 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 were in some dark bar and you said hey why don't I just randomly just take a shot of myself you want to make sure it's clear so one of the things we want to look for here is to make sure we're using the right equipment now the lovely thing about living in the current time period in which we live is that we have these awesome things called smartphones, right? And these smartphones allow us to take really high quality pictures. So you may be able to get away with just a smartphone picture, but you want to make sure it has a large aperture, right? That comes with lens. 
and really uh, you want to stay away from wide angle lens shots which is what this expert here is suggesting now here's an interesting point background when you're doing your LinkedIn profile you're gonna want to make sure your background isn't completely lame for lack of a better word you want to make sure that there's something going on in the background I actually learned this tip from film because I was a filmmaker in a previous life and the one of the lamest things to look at is a picture with a plain white background okay so if you have a little something going on there maybe a city scene that would be awesome to help you look just a bit more professional and stand out from your background facial expressions this is great I would really suggest that you you get used to smiling in your picture or at least have a picture where you're not looking too stern okay that's not what we're trying to go for here you want to look approachable as though people how as though people can imagine themselves talking to you because these people will eventually start talking to you as we go through all these steps you'll be ready to actually connect with these people in a meaningful way that will also be valuable to them as well as yourself and composition I'm gonna say the biggest composition issue you're gonna want to figure out is the lighting that's gonna be one of the biggest things that you're gonna want to be looking out for with your pictures you don't want to be stuck in a place with low levels of light where you look like a shadow okay so for some examples let's just real quick look at some of these professional photos okay and let's see what we can notice here now this right here this photo right here would be a prime LinkedIn photo okay your guy's not looking too serious he is looking into the camera not looking off not hidden okay and the lighting is very good the backgrounds a bit interesting there's a bit of darker and higher tones there and the color he's wearing is standing out so it's not like he's wearing gray on gray in front of a gray background okay he's there he's looking at the camera another great picture now this one is black and white which up to you that's your that's your choice if you want to do that but again this guy's smiling he's giving us a good look here this would be an example of what we wouldn't want let's look at this over here in the bottom left hand corner this guy is maybe a guy maybe a girl I'm not even sure um, I guess they're sitting on a mountain or something not looking at anything this is what you want to avoid now over here this is a great profile picture because again the person is looking at the camera they're giving us a smile they're they're giving us a bit of that professional attitude awesome again if we look over to the right up top here this is something we're trying to avoid I don't even know what that is if it's even a person or a robot we don't know but that's what you want to avoid when creating your profile picture now it may seem obvious to you but I've seen this more than once where someone is just setting up a profile picture again with a diploma as a pick that may be great personal achievement for you but it's not great for helping you connect with other people so you want to keep that in mind all right now this video has gone on for a little bit but in our next video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about what's really important for making your profile stand out outside of the picture, and that's gonna be keyword researching, right? Because remember, our formula, when we go back here, our formula for the perfect profile is gonna be professional headshot, your keyword-rich descriptions, your keyword-rich lists, and your media inserts, all right? So I have talked enough for this time, but join us for the next video, which you can just click over and do that immediately, all right? Talk to you soon.